Hello and welcome to Finextra TV. I'm Hannah Wallace and we're here at Next Gen Nordics 2023 in Stockholm. With me now, stepping away from the busy event, is Patrick Havanda from Visa. Patrick, it's lovely to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Anna. It's lovely to be here. Lovely to see you again. Lovely to see you. And we're talking about um, a big topic, one that is at the heart of a lot of discussions uh, during Next Gen Nordics, and that's cross-border payments, which I know you have um, an impressive and very really knowledgeable background around. So you're in a good position to bring us up to date and tell us what's new across the cross-border um, landscape. Well, I think there are a lot uh, of change going on. Uh, many of these uh, changes are, of course, driven by uh, change, changes in customer behaviors. Mm -hmm. We are seeing corporates going from analog to digital business models. We are seeing the, the, the increase of platform-based uh, business models without heavy supply chains uh, spreading mm. um, internationally in, in a very rapid pace. Uh, Movements like this puts new demands and new expectations on international payments. Um, and as a consequence, there are new entrants stepping into this uh, mm -hmm. business. Um, and Visa, Visa is, is one of them. Wonderful. And you mentioned the challenges there, uh, and there are a few. Perhaps you could guide us through some of those and what the banks are experiencing. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, let me go back to the, uh, the G20 Financial Stability Board uh, report first, uh, where there are expectations of uh, the cost, cost needs to come down, mm -hmm. the speed needs to go up, the accessibility needs to be sharpened, mm -hmm. and, and the transparency needs to increase, right? So that, that is, is kind of around the, 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 the customer um, experiences and, and, and things of that sort. Then you have the, the challenges in the bank. If we believe that the transaction banking is being disrupted, and I would say that, that in parts it is, yeah. then uh, the, the whole notion of zero marginal cost will be important. That we can digitize end-to-end -end, uh, processes, that we try to avoid all manual steps, uh, and there is no way of be able, able to, being able to achieve that mm -hmm. with an infrastructure that, that is put together like it is today. Mm -hmm. That's interesting and uh, often from challenges come opportunities. So what advice would you end on and what uh, is Visa doing to help uh, the bank through those challenges? Yeah. Well, I, I think Visa has tried to, to uh, reimagine what international payments could be uh, and how it could be done. It's still uh, by banks and two banks, um, but it's based on a different logic and on a Visa technology platform. So in that way, I think it's, it's a very sympathetic model. We have some uh, 100 banks already uh, mm -hmm. on the platform transacting from all uh, corners of the world. And this is just, this is just the beginning. Patrick, thank you so much for sharing your insights. Safe to say, watch this space and really interesting to hear what Visa is doing in this space. Uh, but look, I'll let you get back to the event and thank you very much. Thank you so much, Anna, for having me. It was great to see you again.